It became official on Friday when President Biden nominated Judge Katanji Brown Jackson to the Supreme Court. And joining us from Washington, D.C. right now is Mark Joseph Stern. He's a senior writer for Slate who covers the Supreme Court. Mark, thank you so much for being here. So President Biden kept his campaign promise to pick the first black woman for the nation's highest court. So who is Judge Katanji Brown Jackson? She is currently a judge on the U.S. Court of Appeals for the District of Columbia Circuit, often called the second highest court in the land. Uh, and before that, she served for about seven years on a federal district court here in D.C. Um, before that, she served uh, some time on the U.S. Sentencing Commission, helping to reduce some overly harsh sentences for drug crimes. And she worked in big law, but took some time out to serve as a public defender for several years, representing a range of indigent criminal defendants including some detainees held at Guantanamo Bay. All right, a lot. And Judge Jackson, also the first former federal public defender to serve on the Supreme Court, which definitely sets her apart. How do you think that experience will help her as a Supreme Court justice? I think it brings a different viewpoint to the bench than any other justice currently has. You know, three sitting justices have experience being prosecutors. None of them served as public defenders. Judge Jackson, hopefully Justice Jackson for the White House, um, will bring this understanding of the criminal justice system from the side of the accused, will bring hopefully some empathy and compassion um, and also deep expertise in how individuals facing prosecution can handle that uh, incredible strain and of course, uh, vindicate their Fifth and Sixth Amendment rights. It's something that she is an expert in, and hopefully she won't be quite as quick to dismiss um, the constitutional rights of criminal defendants as many of her colleagues, unfortunately, are. And real quick, what happens next? Well, next, the White House is going to put her through the ringer. She's going to be sent to the Senate to meet with a bunch of senators and really keep her eyes on Joe Manchin because he will probably be the pivotal 50th vote to get her over the finish line. We know the White House is also pushing to get a handful of Republican votes. Uh, Lisa Murkowski, Susan Collins, and Lindsey Graham all voted to put her on the D.C. Circuit, her current gig, so she will be lobbying them hard to lend, her, lend another vote and put her on the highest court. All right, Mark Joseph Stern, thank you so much for breaking down President Biden's pick for us and for being here on Capitol Review. Thanks so much for having me on.